<laughs> okay, I redid the uh, kennel again. <laughs> Because I had some younger ones and smaller ones in here before, and so they would like sleep in those hen boxes for some warmth. But now that the blast is over with, I went and removed those because this is going to start being where I keep them a little longer. Now, the, the uh, two pullets will be staying in the permanent flock. The cockerel, which is the other one over there, he's, he's going to have to get rehomed. <laughs> so I did two levels of purchase because they do like getting up high but they can always get on this one and get up there play around and I've got enough space in between and if I have to get back there a pooper scoop for each I don't have all the boards and everything in my way to where I have to like duck under so did the best I could just got a little scrap wood and stuff and some of these uh, and then I uh, raised they have not had that heat lamp on since the blast so I don't see them needing it. Um, they have acclimated to the weather. And they're old enough. So they're going to be let loose in the permanent flock. As soon as they get just a little bit bigger. And this gives a lot more space. Um, so now when I pooper scoop and stuff. I took a little bed thing out of here. Because as they've gotten older. They now sleep on the perches at night. So... I just went ahead and got rid of it. And there's enough straw. If they want to sleep, they make themselves a little hole there. <laughs> so I got feed and some clean water. And I moved their sandbox over here, which they have not been getting it. Um, I haven't even pooper scooped, and there's not even any poop poo in it. <laughs> so um, they haven't figured that part out yet, which is fine. Okay, you guys have fun digging around. You got a lot more space now. And I've got a lot more space to walk around. Yeah. So I got everything all pooper scooped and everything in here. And I got some more straw thrown down. So I think this will do it. And come summer, this is going to be really nice for the breeze and stuff that comes through here. So. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave them go. I will check on you later. Okay? I'll check on you later. Look what I got put in. I do have to wash it, but my bestest friends came over and did all this for nothing just to help me out. Wasn't that nice? But I now have a window for cross breeze because sometimes the wind's coming from this back wall and it's hard. I still got to clean all my stuff up, but so that's a start. And then I'm just going to um, have to frame it out on the outside, which is easy enough for me to do. And then, you know, fix around here, get it per perterized. I might put just a small curtain or something up there, but this way, I got to look for a screen to get in it. Um, I think I might have an extra one in the house. But I can now look out to the back pasture. They can get on their perch and look outside. And if I can't find a screen, I can always just put some chicken wire across there, you know, and then open up the window. So it's just so the chickens don't get out. But now I got that done that was like my, my my biggest biggest thing I wanted um we still have to fix where I cut it and we, where we had to put the window didn't match up where I cut the windows out so he is coming back and stripped down the plywood that he cut out of here and we're going to cover that hole up so that's not a big deal it's just I spent most of the day today doing this and fixing a leak in my um outside water pipe <laughs> to the um cow's trough so we got that fixed too and got some of that stuff in the backyard and um under the awning all cleaned up so i'm happy with this so now i do is scrub everything down get it cleaned up but look at it there's so much light in here now yeah do you like it huh <laughs> so what's everybody doing Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I forgot I left that treat there. We had to catch um, Frank and put some medicine on his comb. Some musher or salve or whatever it's called. Yeah, one of his waddles, a little piece, did kind of fall off finally. But we got some medicine on him. Got medicine on everybody here. I've got to clean up my mess. Here's the boxes I took out of here. 
<laughs> girls are doing really good in there. They're having a good time. And I've got, like I said, it's a lot nicer. Can open this window when I go cleaning and I get all that dust in me. But they follow me in here every time. You're just too spoiled. I didn't bring no treat for you this time, though. And I got, <laughs> I got to clean my mess up with my tools and everything. So, and I took a heat lamp down. They don't need that. I only had that when we had that blast coming through. Huh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now that this is getting dried up finally, I have to get a um, get a rake and just rake some of that where it's piled up a little bit out there. Huh. Yeah. You, does your comb feel better? Got it all salved up. Yeah. Got to sneak up behind him. I just throw some treats down and when he goes, to, <laughs> I can get sneak up behind him close enough. I just grab him. Huh. Yep, you know I'm the boss. You are not the boss. No, you ain't. I'm sorry, baby. He lost on this side of his waddle a little tiny piece at the bottom there. Might lose the tips on his comb. I don't know. I didn't get the salve soon enough to get it started, but we'll see how he does. I'm going to get me some ordered. Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm going to go sit down and get something to eat. Everybody's doing good in here. I got a pooper scoop real quick, and other than that, then I'm going to go sit down. <laughs> and these little toddlers are as spunky as ever. Aren't you? Aren't you? You like your little perch, huh? That one there by herself, she's the one that comes up to my hand all the time. She lets me pick her up. Okay. Okay.